Hi, welcome to this data preparation video. My name is Ahmed Oyelowo. In this video, I want to show you how you can use Power Query to extract numbers that are scattered within texts. In this case, for example, we have a column for narration. And as you can see, we have some numbers in between different words within this column. Now, if you try to do this on Excel, for example, you know that what you want to do is for the first guy, you want to write 8851. Then you go to the second guy and you start to type 4, 2, 3, and you see that Excel's flash view is active and it can already understand what you are trying to do. And if I just uh, use my arrow down key here, it automatically fills it up for me. However, if I try something like this, if I copy out this new one, Ctrl C, and I just put it right here, and I try to replicate exactly the same thing. So 8851, 4230, and you can see that for the last guy, flash fill in Excel is not correct because I have so many numbers. I have three, 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 four, two, 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 and flash view only brings up the last number four. So let's see what we can do in Power Query to resolve something like this. So of course, you already know that Power Query works on Excel, it works on Power BI, it works on uh, Power Apps, Power Automate, and a couple of other tools. So for this demo, we are going to be using Power Query on Power BI. So if I try to replicate exactly that kind of thing that we use on Excel inside of Power Query, it means I have to make sure I'm on the Add Column tab in Power Query. Then we have something called Column from Examples, right? So, but first I need to select the column I'm trying to extract from, which is Narration Column. So I'll click on the heading of Narration to have it selected. Then I'll come to Column from Examples and I'll say from Selection. Now I have an empty column where I can type in what I'm trying to extract from here so that Power Query can try to understand the pattern of what I'm trying to do. So I'll come into the first one and I'll type 8851. I'll go into any other place. So let's say the number four and I'll type 14372. So I'll basically just continue to type until Power Query understands the pattern that I'm trying to work with. Okay. Now, having done this, I will try to go to another row again. So let's say um, number seven. And from there, you see that Power Query is already right. Even with that very complicated one, Power Query already knows what it should be and it rightly picks all the numbers for me. Okay. Now you can see a hint of the kind of formula that Power Query is writing for us to solve this problem. It's using a function called text.select. So text.select is going to select from whatever column or whatever text that we are supplying to it. And then we have to provide a list of the things we want to select from it. So in this case, we are providing a list of any numbers from 0 to 9. So if I click OK, I have my complete solution and I can easily just, you know, convert this guy to a whole number, data type, and everything is fine. However, what if we had something that looks like example number two here? You know, it's going to be very difficult for us to use that same methodology because we really have to type a lot of examples out before Power Query can understand what we're trying to do. But now we know that we can use that function text.select. Okay. So now in this case, if we want to try it out, we want to write the formulas ourselves, which means we don't want to rely on column from examples. We are still going to come back to add column, then select custom column. And then we can give this column a name. So let's just call these uh, extract numbers. And the formula is going to be what? Text dot select open brackets. And then I need to select my text, which is this column called scattered. So I will just double click right here. I have my scattered inside my formula now, and then I put a comma. And now I need, I need to supply a list of the things I want to select from there, which are more like the things I want to extract. 
and to do that i need to open curly brace so curly brace is for uh for lists right so I, I'm, I'm going to have to specify a list of the things i want to extract and i want to extract double quote zero i want to extract anything that is from zero i put two uh dots so dot dot another double quote nine so i'm saying i'm extracting anything that is between zero and number nine which are basically what numbers are comprised of now i'm going to close my curly brace here close my bracket and when i click ok we have the correct results you know it can be very difficult to start specifying these for power query using column from example but now that we we are aware of that function text dot select now to take this a step further what if we are actually not trying to select the numbers maybe we want to get the text instead you'll agree that it's also going to be extremely difficult to try to teach power query using column from examples now if we have a function called text dot select probably we may have another function called text dot remove so i want to extract the text now or the characters rather than the numbers i'm going to follow this same procedure again using another function called text dot remove so let's add another custom column and let's call this one extract characters characters and the formula now is going to use a function called text dot remove open brackets still i want to remove some things from this card comma and the things i want to remove are still exactly the same thing open calibrate to supply the list of the things i want to remove and the list contains anything between double quotes zero anything between zero dot dot zero two double quotes nine anything between zero and nine close the curly brace close the bracket click ok and now i have only the characters if you like this video make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can always get updates when we drop new videos